Hi guys, Johan here from Myro's training team. In this follow-up video to our previous how to create a KMZ file using Google Earth Pro, uh, we want to look at how to use Cambium Network's Link Planner tool uh, to actually import your KMZ file and how to do a link planning. I will add the links of the various sites that I've used to download the Cambium Network's Planner tool uh, or the Link Planner tool in the description below. So you can just use those, uh, register your account with Cambium Network support, download the Link Planner tool, it is for free. Um, and I will also show you how to launch it, how to add your details, how to add your path profile or your access token, and then also how to import your KMZ file and how to actually uh, create a point-to-point -point link, change the different products, your operating frequency, the channel bandwidth, and actually see what is the report that you'll get from the Link Planner tool. So, like I said, you can go to uh, you can go to the link cambiumnetworks.com um, and look for the Link Planner tool and click on the Download Now button. So when you do that, it should take you to a uh, the support site. If you are already a member, you can just log in. If you're not a member, you just need to register on the site. Um, like I said, it doesn't cost you anything, um, and then you can just download the Link Planner tool. So if you are using this on a Windows machine, you can download the Windows uh, Link Planner tool, or you can use, uh, if you're using a Mac, you can download the Mac disk image. So once you've downloaded, you simply install the Link Planner tool and then open up or launch the application. So let's quickly launch the application. Okay, so now that your Link Planner tool has opened, it will give you a tip of the day. So you can um, either say show the tips at startup or remove it and then just click on close. So the first thing that I want to do is once we have opened up our Link Planner tool, let's click on Link Planner and go to options. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to add your personal information. So if this is for your company, you add your details. Um, so I've added my name, my organization, Miro, a division of Udeco, uh, my contact details, and also my email address. Now this email address portion is important. This needs to be the same email address as what you've used to register your Cambium support account. Then under templates, you just need to assign a specific location of where you will save um, your projects. Units, uh, you can change that to meters and kilometers, degrees, um, uh, how it says on latitude and longitude. Then we want to get to the most important portion, which is path profile. So you will see here that I do have an access token um, already pasted in. What you can do if you're setting up your link planner from default, you need to click on request new access token. This will take you back to your Cambium link planner tool uh, account on support and it will give you your access token. You simply just copy that, copy your access token, go back to your link planner tool, paste it in there and then you just say test profile service. Then we'll say validation successful, username and password access, uh, username and access token are correct. Right, so once that's done, the next portion I wanna do is I want to import a KMZ file. So we click on file, import network sites from KM, KML or KMZ. So in our previous video, we did create a point-to-point uh, -point Centurion link KMZ. So all I do is I just click on open. So as you will see under my network sites, it has already um, added my two different network sites. So now I wanna create a point to point link between these two network sites. So here at the top, there is a button that says new point to point link. I just click on that and then it will say from and to. So it automatically says point to point link main access point and point to point link station and then all you do is you click on OK. Okay so what it has done now it has created the point to point link and as you can see it also takes the elevation for both access point and station. It tells you what is the profile and um, so in this case it is 300 meters uh, away from each other and it is considered as non line of sight. Okay, so what I want to change now is I want to start changing around the operating frequency, the products, and also the regulation. 
So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to say that I'll be using the 5.8 gigahertz band, which is the 5 gigahertz frequency. The product that I'll be using is the EPMP Force 180. So this will be both for my access point as well as for my station. The regulation, you just need to make sure that you've selected South Africa. So again, this will automatically implement the EIRP limitations from South Africa. So it won't allow you to exceed certain bandwidth channel or channel bandwidths. Uh, it won't allow you to exceed certain output power. Then the EPMP mode that I'm going to use is a point to point. The alternative option is that you can use EPTP um, master and slave, but in this case, I'm going to use the standard point to point. Bandwidth, um, seeing that this is a relatively short range, I want to use the maximum possible bandwidth, which is a 40 megahertz channel. Downlink and uplink ratio, I will uh, leave that on 50 50. You can change this to either 75 25 or 30 and 70. So, depending on your application and what the actual requirement is, you can change the uplink and downlink ratio. Uh, but, like I said, for this case, I will leave it 50 50. Frame second or the fixed frame ratio, I will leave that as five milliseconds. Uh, maximum modulation. So the next thing I want to change is my actual installation height. So uh, let's say, for example, you know that the installation height on both the access point and the station will be above, for example, 10 meters. You can make this to whatever your actual installation height will be. So both I'm going to set to 15 meters and it should automatically update your path profile. But again, in this case, it's still saying that we've got non line of sight. Okay. So because we don't have clear line of sight at this stage, it's saying that my predicted receive power is going to be negative 91. Uh, unfortunately, because I do not have clear line of sight, I'm not going to get any uh, transmission through this. The only way to work around this is to actually increase my installation height. So for argument's sake, we've made it 150 meters. Uh, now my predicted receive power has increased because I've got clear line of sight. My predicted receive uh, s uh, power is negative 40 dBm with about a plus minus 7 dBm of difference. My predicted throughput should be around about 138 megabits per second. And this should be more or less the same for both access point and station. And my total capacity that I can expect on this link is 276 aggregate, uh, yeah, aggregate throughput. So that is how you essentially import a KMZ file um, and create a point to point link. So again, this video was basically just to follow up on how you use Google Earth to create a KMZ file and using Cambium's link planner tool, how to simply just import that KMZ file and create a point to point link. Please remember to click like and subscribe and also leave a comment if you have any further questions. Thank you.